Wheat is one of the most important crops in the world, as it is used to make many food products that we consume every day, such as bread, pasta, cakes, cookies, and cereals. Wheat is also used to make other products that depend on wheat, such as beer, animal feed, glue, and biofuel. Therefore, the price of wheat affects the cost of many things that we buy and use. But what determines the price of wheat? There are many factors that influence the supply and demand of wheat, such as weather, trade policies, currency fluctuations, energy costs, and consumer preferences. For example, if there is a drought or a pest outbreak that reduces the wheat harvest in a major producing country, the supply of wheat will decrease and the price will increase. Conversely, if there is a bumper crop or a technological innovation that boosts the wheat yield in a major consuming country, the supply of wheat will increase and the price will decrease. Another factor that affects the price of wheat is the U.S. dollar. Since wheat is traded internationally in U.S. dollars, a stronger dollar makes wheat more expensive for foreign buyers and reduces the demand for U.S. wheat exports. A weaker dollar makes wheat cheaper for foreign buyers and increases the demand for U.S. wheat exports. The U.S. dollar also affects the price of other commodities that are used to produce or transport wheat, such as oil, fertilizer, and machinery. The price of wheat also depends on the demand from emerging markets, such as China and India, where population growth and rising incomes are driving more consumption of wheat-based products. As these countries become more urbanized and industrialized, they tend to shift their diets from rice and other grains to bread and noodles. This increases the demand for wheat and pushes up its price. The price of wheat also responds to ethanol subsidies in some countries, such as the US and Brazil, where corn is used to make biofuel. Ethanol subsidies encourage farmers to plant more corn and less wheat, which reduces the supply of wheat and increases its price. Ethanol subsidies also increase the demand for corn and raise its price, which makes wheat more attractive as an alternative feedstock for biofuel production. The price of wheat affects the cost of food and other products that depend on wheat in different ways depending on how much wheat is used in their production and how sensitive they are to changes in input costs. For example, flour and starch are made directly from wheat and use a large amount of it so they tend to reflect the changes in wheat prices more closely. Bread and pasta are made from flour and use a moderate amount of it, so they tend to reflect the changes in wheat prices with some delay and less intensity. Cakes and cookies are made from flour but use a small amount of it compared to other ingredients such as sugar, eggs and butter, so they tend to reflect the changes in wheat prices with more delay and less intensity. The cost of food and other products that depend on wheat also depends on other factors besides the price of wheat, such as labor costs, transportation costs, packaging costs, taxes and profit margins. These factors can vary depending on the type of product, the location of production and consumption, and the level of competition in the market. Therefore, the impact of wheat prices on consumer product prices is usually muted and lagged, in summary, wheat prices affect the cost of food and other products that depend on wheat by influencing their production costs and availability. However, there are many other factors that also affect their prices and determine how much consumers pay for them.